Hello everyone. I hope life finds you well and happy today. I'd like to discuss briefly a topic that's of um, interest to me, and that is peer-to-peer -peer simulation software. And so what I'm what I'm referring to is software that you may have come across, um, such as Foldit. Um, there are a number of other platforms similar to what Foldit does, <clears throat> but I'll explain briefly to you what Foldit itself does. So basically, you've got a program that you run on your computer that is a simulation software that simulates what, uh, or sorry, how uh, proteins operate in the, in the real world, in the microscopic world and how they react with other particular uh, chemicals, other proteins, so on and so forth. So what this simulation platform is aimed at is to allow people to build um, proteins for solving world problems such as, as cancer, uh, such as um, actually being able to attach proteins into into our gen into our uh, DNA, and and modify what that DNA does and how it operates. So it's it's actually like really what you think of as really advanced. I don't know a whole lot about um, organics or anything like that. Like I was I was not whatsoever. Um, I didn't have a high grade in science in that regard, but because this simulation software exists that shows me visually how like what these rules are that these proteins operate under and how they actually function um, because that software exists I'm able to play around in this little world in a way that I can understand without having to fully understand it and actually contribute to scientific research within that so there's platforms that exist around um, DNA, around protein, around pretty much not, I, I wouldn't say everything that you can think of, but a considerable amount of the stuff that you can think of. There are simulation, gamified simulation platforms that exist with the aim of allowing us to better understand how these macro and microscopic worlds function. And one of the things that sort of comes along with that is the ability, well, the reason that I said gamify, is that Foldit has taken that simulation platform and actually made it into a, you know, a, like a competitive, humans are pretty competitive creatures. Let's, let's be realistic, we're pretty competitive. So if I have a situation in which I can compete with like a friend of mine and get a better score on it or whatever it may be, then I think I'm considerably more likely to stay engaged on that s simulation platform, right? So what they've done is they've made it uh, massively multiplayer, basically, allowing you to look at other people's scores, allowing you to you know try and beat other people's scores, and vice versa, other people are going to try and beat your scores as well, around attempting to fold proteins for particular endeavors. Um, so like folding proteins that could potentially uh, r resolve leukemia or you know any one of the projects that uh, really big projects that are going on on the planet right now so that's um, sort of what I refer to as peer-to-peer -peer, uh, simulation software which is a really cool <laughs> in my mind a really cool technology so if you'd like to check that out at all anymore, please obviously feel free to Google Fold It. Um, there's another platform that is somewhat different, uh, referred to as Boink. That's B O I N C. So you can Google that as well. Those are both uh, very interesting um, softwares that you can run on pretty much any computer. That's all I've got for today. Uh, once again, I hope life finds you all well and happy. Raymond Johnstone, out.